Oh, hello, you're back. Right, uh, just a couple of things, you just caught me looking at uh, YouTube comments. Um, by the way, before I start, keep them comments coming in massively. Um, if you haven't already, please share, subscribe and like. Um, it's obviously going well, but I'm going to start this off with two things. One, I need your help. And two... I just want to clear something up on one of my videos, um, which was the HGV driver's news. Um, so, yeah, I'll clear that up. But firstly, yeah, need your help. Massively need your help. Um, your comments, they're, they're great, you know what I mean. Keep them coming in massively. Um, I need them to gauge what's going on. But your help I need on... Uh, it, I'm now at the point where I want to decide what I want to do with the channel and I'd like your input on it massively so I'd like to know whether the channel you'd like to see it as a vlog so i.e. me coming to work uh, showing the bits on the crane deliveries all that lot or would you like it as a vlog and a rant so that'll be me you know pretty much driving as i have been doing uh have a bit of a rant about things and generally what what's going on with the driver shortage thing and all that lot or would you just like it as a rant you know i want to know down below because if it goes down the road of a vlog uh and a rant um obviously the content takes a lot longer um i didn't expect it to take off this well so Thank you very much, guys. You, you know, I'm, I really appreciate it massively. Uh, and it's thanks to you lot that I can gauge what's going on out there and give you more content. But if it's going down a vlog, um, like I say, I, I didn't really expect it to be this hard. I didn't. Um, I've got to come up with title capsule, uh, captions for, you know, get your eyes to it and all that lot. And if you're just new here, check out some of my other, vi other videos. But yeah, um, just uh, give me a second, brew. I'll tell you what, this flask, it says bloody red hot in this all day. Jeez, that's roasting. So yeah, um, if it's going to be the vlog thing, then, you know, do I keep it as well as it's just work content? Or would you like to see me have a rant in it as well? So, you know, if it's a vlog and a rant, put in vlog and rant. Uh, if it's just vlog, just put vlog. Um, yeah, I've spent a small fortune on getting camera equipment and all that lot. I mean, a lot of it wanted updating anyway, but you'll have to bear with me because it's a learning curve with the editing. I'm massively getting into that. Um, it, it's not just normal editing. I've got a 360 camera uh, edit that way. I've audio equipment, all that lot. Uh, it's been quite a, a challenge and a learning curve, but you know, I've I like it. I like it. I do like a challenge. So yeah, that that's I've, I've your bits and your say underneath on that one. Um, we'll move on to the next subject now, which was the driving news update. Uh, that video. Um, what it was is a mate of mine rung me up. Um, I, I mentioned him, Kev. If you're there, cheers, buddy. Um, Kev rung me up, and we had a bit of a, a chinwag about that video, and he seemed to like it. You know, it, it was a bit of a P-take and a, a serious note as well. But it just said, you know, it, it, it's not quite clear on what you're getting on there, so, you know, this is where your comments come in massively um, about the contents of the videos and all the rest of it. And... In that video, one of the things that was touched on by you lot uh, and by Kev was many years ago, a lot of people went straight from a car to a Class 1. And note how I said many years ago. Uh, just something on that whilst I'm on that bit. Um, keep your comments clean. Uh, somebody said, I went from a car to a HGV1 and I never murdered anybody. No, I never mentioned the word murder. Kill, accidents, injuries. It's not murder. Accidental death is not murder. Murder is intentional, right? So, facts right before 
your spout. So yeah, anyway, touching back to the subject, I looked into this and statistics showed by government officials, by them introducing classes into vehicles, so i.e. It, it used to be many moons ago, class three, class two, class one. They did away with a class three and went to class two and class one, right? That was how it went. And the statistics showed when they introduced them classes, accidents, injuries, and deaths fell massively. And I mean massively. So it proved a point that what they were doing was right. And don't, you know, before you comment, a lot of people said, oh, well, it was a money-making exercise. Yes, it was, but it also meant a lot of people went home after the day shift, right? So, you know, the statistics then showed that there was a problem in the industry. So hence why they did the, the class two, class one. Now, yes, you could take your class two and then in the same day, take your class one. So, yeah, there, there was there was that into it and it, it broke it up and sort of the, the, the industry was deemed a bit safer, kind of. Now, the point I was getting to with this, and it'll be for a lot of people that are going straight to class two, class one, right? And then, then that are going to be announced that it's going, you know, you can take your class one because of the temporary waiver. Um, I just feel as though I did class two, class one, and I feel as though I've had a right royal kick in the nads massively. I could have jumped straight to class one massively. I really could. I mean, I was lucky when I was younger. Um, if I can find it, I'll put a picture up here. I drove my first tractor unit at 13 years old and it was at a show i was driving it into the arena because my dad was a driver and well he was a bit more than a driver but i used to go to work with him and we went to zed's show and the gaffer's son were there and he said look no you take it down to the arena blah blah this blah and i tell you what i were absolutely smitten from that day that that's what i was going to do um and it, it just had a a big impulse on me then, at that day. And then I got to 13 and a half. Um, when I went to work with my dad, I was shown by one of the drivers how to move trailers around the yard. So I had a big enough yard to play with. So my job was, at the weekend, to shunt trailers on and off loading bays. Um and then, you know, when it, it was finished, I'd park them up in the yard and I'd put the paperwork in the trailer and the sleeve at the back. And, you know, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And then as time progressed, I started working on the farm after school and all that lot. And when I left school, I worked on the farm. And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to be a farmer. I'm going to be a farmer. I was hell-bent on it. But when I got old enough to do me hgvs i mean I, I drove a seven and a half ton for long enough i took me hgvs and i was pulled into the industry and what i'm doing today now is where i started on my class two and i loved it and the idea was i'm going to progress up to class one doing the same thing but as it so happens where i live there was no any nobody anywhere near me without an hour's travel to do this on a class one so i fell into the waste industry and then several hauliers and all the rest of it and as you've gathered from that that's when it all started getting used and abused um i went to work like everyone else and as a driver you well not every driver but as a driver you're quite regularly abused because you're just a bum on seat to them uh, and that's when I took a stance to it all um, some years ago and I come out of it and then I got this and doing this again. So it's gone full circle for me and I've come back to what I'm doing. But yeah, the, the, the rant on the thing of accidents, injuries and deaths in the HGV, the statistics showed that it all massively dropped when they introduced the classes now, for him to go 
straight to a class one and this is kev that put the pointer to me back then you weren't driving around with these in your cab right and also you weren't driving around like modern traffic now i don't know what it is with your hgv but you're just a big inconvenience on the road a massive inconvenience but everybody wants the goods in the shop and on the shelves and all the rest of it now my thinking behind it is not everybody takes to a hgv and the lifestyle of it um hence a big percentage of new drivers drop out of it within the first two years right and this is where i'm saying about new drivers help them out you know don't be hell bent that it's your way or no way just give them hints and tips and don't ram it in the face you know just try this try that and i know it works because i used to be a driver trainer um and i didn't go down the road of you know you, you're doing driving this wrong and all the rest of it. they took a hgv test that was enough for me my job was to make sure that they could use the equipment on the back of the vehicle properly that was all i was there for you know and just to make sure that they were confident with it all so yeah that was my part of, of being a, a driver trainer but i just don't want new drivers to come into the industry and, and think it's a doddle it's it's not you will find some jobs that are a doddle. I've got one now. I won't say it was a doddle, but it, it's a lot easier than what I've had. But yeah, back to the statistics thing. With modern traffic, and there is a lot more vehicles on the road than what there was way back yonder, right? And we're in a kill crash society, um, and quite selfish society at the minute. It's... They, whatever they're driving that's their space and i'll be damned if i'm going to give way to you kind of uh, and it, you know it it can frighten a lot of people that are driving a big wagon you know the stresses of the road the stresses of customers that you go to the stresses of the office and all that lot and it, it it's a big thing that can pop very quickly and push people out of the hgv industry and this is where i also need to state that you know as drivers you learn to need to say no you know not stupidly or have a rant and all the rest of it it's just no you know what i mean the the government have had their thing of words they try to patch the industry by cheap labor and it seems strange now that all that cheap labor has gone that hauliers uh supermarkets and all the rest of it are massively dipping their hand in the pocket to attract drivers into it it's not just all about the money. It may be with a lot of people, but it wasn't for me. It was how I was tret. That's what a lot of it was with me. So, yeah, coming into the industry, we want to attract fresh blood and people into it. But it's all right as a driver saying that and helping out other drivers. The uh, planners and all that lot, they need an overhaul as well. You know, on transport managers, they need a massive overhaul as well to how they treat drivers. And if you, it's all right saying that you can't go from A to B without enough time or anything like that. Well, then you fall into the driving job of not a day driver, a tramper. And you need to split them, right? Class one has a vast range of stuff that is moved on it. And that's why you need to split it. But yeah, going back to the statistic things, I keep swaying from it. But it, it, my point was that we all modern traffic and all the rest of it and, you know, the, the things that dra take you out, your eyes off the road and your concentration and all that lot is I wouldn't like to hear that there's been a lot more accidents, injuries and all the rest of it because the government put a temporary waiver on it and it's caused this to happen because what will happen then in the future is they'll use that against the haulage industry and they'll make it massively harder for new drivers when all this has blown over to come into the industry and they pay enough money for it anyway you know there's in a lot of the comments 
you know, that there's people that have paid stupid amounts of money to get their HGV uh, and to be where they want to be and then be kicked in the balls with it at the end of it all. It, it, it's it's just an industry that's quite vicious. Um, and I'm not saying everywhere is vicious, but, uh, you know, percentage of the places are vicious. But, yeah, that's what I don't want to happen in the future is people be drawn into it and then spat out uh, and then in future terms, because things have gone wrong, um, to for it to all go tits up for future drivers or future generations, it's to me. I think the driving industry needs a big wake up call, massive. Um, so yeah, thanks to Kev for highlighting that, and some of you as well. You know. Uh, quite a lot of you, you went straight from a car to class one uh, and some people tech to it but there wasn't all the modern, modern traffic with it you know, if you're saying you went from car to class one there you go, it, it says it all and I know you can go from car, class two, class one yeah, but you still did your class two so you still had some idea of gauging what that vehicle was about and what it was all about. Um, but yeah, to go from car to class one nowadays, I, I don't think it's the right idea. I really don't. You know, I, I could be completely wrong, but you've got to remember everybody's different. And that's why I've got an open mind to a lot of things. Um, I just don't want to see future drivers destroyed by some Muppet planner in an office. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, otherwise I'm just going to waffle on all sorts. If I remember to put the picture up of me as a, a wee nipper, um, driving a wagon into an arena where my driving started, um, I'll put it up. But yeah, I massively want your help on the thing of whether it, you know, vlog, rant, rant vlog, whatever, you know, give me the feedback of what you want to see. Uh, but until next time guys oh, and cheers Kev for the uh, the heads up on that one I, I appreciate things like that but yeah uh, until next time guys please do take care do take it easy remember to like, share, subscribe and comment uh, and if you are a driver please remember take your brakes don't take the hassle if it gets too much don't be frightened of putting your hand up and saying, look, I need help. And that's for new drivers as well. So, yeah, take it easy, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Boo!